everybody. I am here at the Broadway Market. I'm gonna try to get all of this in. Uh, I have an art show that is happening. Uh, just hanging some stuff today. I have a bit more to hang because there was more space than I thought. So I'm gonna take you on a quick walkthrough of what's already hanging. And uh, maybe I can entice some of you locals to come on out. This is my Nina Simone. She's 30 by 40 inches. And I don't know if you can tell, but like, look at that lip. It just, the pour blended perfectly with her lip. And the hair, I just worked with what was happening. If you can see, the pour just, it was magic. She was meant to go on this. But uh, I love this piece get some of the detail on the earrings. There we go. This is one of my favorite pieces that I've done. All right, I'm gonna take you on a walk through for the rest of the stuff. Okay, well, I'm just switching to the voiceover uh, function here because it's kind of loud and difficult to hear what I'm saying and now Satchmo is going to be yelling on the other side of the door because he hears me talking uh, okay so the last painting that you saw I'm sure it looks familiar these two uh, I did before I started videoing my paintings and I'm going to let the cat in because he will not stop. He's ruthless. Okay, here's a bunch that have been on video, so they may look familiar to you. This was one of the fire swipe pieces. And that is the one where I was trying to get some depth. And that is one of my favorites. I think that's number seven. Could be wrong. <laughs> oh, Satchmo is all over me. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so that's one of the cloud pours that I turned into a landscape using the satin enamel. And this is a straight pour. That's with the, um, I think Artist Loft Thalo Blue and their Copper. And that background was a mix of white and gold. That always makes a very pretty color. Uh, this big piece, I, there's actually a video, <laughs> but it doesn't look like that because uh, something happened while it was drying and I had to tilt again. It was the one, the big one that kind of looked like there was a bird in it. And then when I had to tilt it again uh, to try to rescue it, another bird came out, which I thought was really cool. And I'm so angry I didn't get that on film. And that was probably the last time I've ever done anything to a painting and didn't film it. This was before I started uh, filming this is a 30 by 40. That's a big piece, as is the one next to it. This one was like the mallet smash technique. And uh, the one on the right was kind of used a, a credit card to fling the paint, sort of. That way to the restrooms and more. More paintings. These might look familiar. This is using the satin enamel deco art adding it to other colors to make them sell. That was a very successful experiment. I do dig on this piece. That was actually hanging on my wall for a bit. And uh, that red one is the other fire swipe. Satchmo, uh, because I'm talking, he thinks I'm talking to him, so he's just being very super lovable right now and all over me like a cheap suit. 
I lingered a lot on these paintings. I think I was trying to get them without the, uh, the glare unsuccessfully, it seems. And yeah, so this was, these were more straight pours using my, I guess I would say signature colors, dioxazine, purple, the prism, violet, magenta, uh, and the uh, cadmium yellow light hue all in basics. That magic combination. I think that's number 20. That one on top, if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember anymore. They all get jumbled up. But I think that might be 20. And here are some, I'm pretty sure there's a video of that one. I like the colors together on that. It definitely has a deep ocean type feel. That's traveling ring pour using blue and purple. And uh, ah, that one uh, is titled Radar Love. Coincidentally, it was poured while there was a hurricane taking place a while back. I think that was last year. Don't think there's a video of that one. And, ah, we have the one with the funky silver cells. They look very, like, much like snowflakes if you see them up close. Um... The painting has a very ethereal look to it. Very soft, but pretty. And this was the attempt at the landscape with the swipes and just looks like lava spilling over and it's hot and cool at the same time. Super groovy. I hope y'all aren't getting seasick. I wasn't holding this camera very still. I move a lot while I'm talking. It's the Italian in me. Uh, this was like the green painting. <laughs> y'all know I don't do a lot of green. This is one of the more recent ones. That was on the deep edge canvas. That looks so much like um, the Northern Lights in person, the way it glows against that back. And here is the water rose piece very pretty this one came out the gold in it um i think i was trying to capture it but it's still you know the uh the delicate effects of some of these paintings are just lost on video or photos they have to be seen in person and this one there's another straight pour. And this one also wound up looking quite a bit like a rose. Very pretty red. I do love that cadmium deep. Well, that's it. Uh, there are more paintings going up that aren't in this video, uh, but you'll have to stop by and check it out for yourself to see what they are. I hope you can make it down there, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.